What's up internet, Luke here coming at you with another video this week, and it has been a massive week for comic moments as we do not have one, but two major events starting yesterday. On the DC side, the multiverse affecting arc The Button, and here on the Marvel side, the reality altering epic betrayal of Secret Empire. As this Hydra sleeper agent Captain America arc has unfolded over the last year and a half, we always knew that there was going to be some kind of big climax, some final culmination of that controversial story arc, and whether this is that or not, we don't know. But what we do know, and that this is huge, the Marvel Universe will never be the same. The events of today's secret empire number zero. As Cap has officially put his plan into action and taken his first steps into, well, world domination. And that goes without saying massive spoilers ahead. And guys, I cannot stress this enough as you read the official release, as it honestly looks like Marvel's got a real winner here. A real gripping read from beginning to end. Cap's plan comes in three phases, almost simultaneously. A masterpiece that only a great strategic mind like Captain America could have come up with. On one front, a massive Chitauri invasion force barreling towards the planet. On another, dozens of supervillains freed from Maria Hill's Pleasant Hill prison attack Manhattan. On the third, Hydra forces have taken over the country Sokovia and have nukes aimed at other European capitals. On that first front though, the Tatari have a trillion strong. Yes, a trillion. I did not misspeak here. And isn't it just Earth's luck that the planetary defense shield isn't working thanks to an attack by a Hydra suicide bomber? When shield comes back online on its own, it's a small victory for our heroes in space as the Tatari run straight into it, decimating their forces before they realize that it's not only keeping the Chitauri out, the heroes are stuck out there too, and it's all according to Captain America's plan. Back in Manhattan though, the Marvel Universe's New York based superheroes, basically we have the Defenders plus some other friends, battle wave after wave of villains escape from the Pleasant Hill prison, from heavy hitters like Graviton to much more niche foes like Jack-o'-lantern. To make matters worse though, Zemo and Blackout use the power of the Darkhold to completely swallow Manhattan in darkness. In the nation's darkest hour, no pun intended, the Secret Secretary of Defense, and this gets crazy here, realizing this might be the end, activates a last resort protocol, turning all of the US military assets and all police forces over to the command of the Director of S.H.I.E.L.D., who just happens to be none other than Steve Rogers. So in Sokovia, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s first dispatched helicarrier has gone silent so they can send the whole fleet after it. They're surprised when the ship resurfaces, but the radio goes silent and steaming towards them. Hydra boarding parties swarm the helicarrier to almost no resistance as the evil organization reveals the trick that's up their sleeves. Dr. Faustus, the hypnotist, is brainwashing everyone on board through the speakers and the entire fleet broadcasting over shield frequencies. And this is how Cap has conquered the world, trapping all of the most powerful heroes out in space, swallowing New York and her heroes in a dark dimension-like bubble, gaining control of the US military completely legally, mind you, and SHIELD's entire fleet of heli helicarriers with mind control. Where will this all end up? I have no idea. We couldn't have predicted this when Cap Hydra twist like was first revealed and something tells me that we won't be able to predict the final outcome either but i know for sure i will be tuning in anyways guys i think that's going to do it for me this week let me know down in the comments section what your thoughts are on all of this and don't forget to slam that like button if you like what you saw and maybe consider turning on that notification bell so that way you can stay updated every single day my name is luke guys and i will see you in the next video